This is a custom home screen that I use to present my photography portfolio. And I think it's cool. Let's check this out. Hey, what's up guys? Now I have with me my iPad Air 5. It has a good screen, it's portable, and it's easy to show off my photos for my work. Now, how many of us are still using just the photo app to showcase our photos? Because it's not as clean as it can be. If you're anything like me, I've got my phone photos in the mix and it looks something like this. What if I tell you there's a better way of doing it through some web services available online and through its native iPad Focus, one of the features that's built in since iPadOS 15. Now I came about this YouTuber, uh, Chris of Daily Tech. He creates really good productivity uh, tutorials with iPad and you gotta check them out. And the video that inspired me to do this one was a video about him using focus on the iPad to customize his home screens. And I thought it was a great way to make the iPad the ultimate tool to showcase our photograph. Cause hey, I'm a photographer. Here's my iPad and I've got my schedule and I've got my icons and Apple TV that's right here. And this is what I use daily. When I'm presenting my portfolio, I don't need these icons to be visible. There are Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime, and these are all my streaming services. How about this is what we do instead. We go in to focus and I will just tap on wedding. It changes all my icons on my home screen to all wedding photography and workflow related. Now, the wallpaper is a a portfolio wedding piece. All the icons around it are my wedding portfolio related. That's all, it's clean, it's pretty. Um, every single icon has a purpose. Uh, it shows some wedding portfolio. Now, my genre of photography is wedding. You can be a street photographer. You could be a fashion product, whatever. This will work for you as well because the home screen represents one thing and one thing only, which is your work. You guys are probably going to ask me about these icons over here. What are they? Because they're so unique. They are not like any of those apps that you can find on the App Store. When I launch to one of these icons, it launches my writing portfolio. And this one was done in Langkawi and it will be presented in a grid like this. Clean grid easy to use interface you can click on it it launches one big photo and you can navigate around it and they look great they look professional if i do say so myself now there are a few components to set the ipad up to present it this way for the ipad os component of things that involve focus and shortcuts watch chris from daily tech because he explains it way better than i could watch him talk about custom home screens and how he hides different home screens using focus. Take attention to how he uses shortcuts to customize the wallpaper too. That video is already readily available on his YouTube channel and I'm going to link it up in the description below. I'll pick it up where he left so that I can customize it for you guys photographers out there. Just like me and you, me and you photographers. First up, the gallery is implemented through a online gallery platform called Pixieset. I've been a subscriber to Pixieset to deliver my work to my clients. The iPad app is a byproduct of having access to it. You too can create something similar on Pixieset as well. So once you are registered with Pixieset, you can head over to the mobile gallery where I have already over here uploaded some photos to be featured in the mobile gallery app. And what I'm gonna do, once you've done that, you're gonna click on preview and then send a test app. So this will send it to my email address. And once that's done in my email, you just need to install the app. It opens up your Safari browser. You click on share, you click on add to home screen, and then you just add. It will come out in one of these icons over here, which when you launch it, and you will dive straight away into this very clean, very professional, and aesthetically pleasing grids of masterpieces of photos that you put your life and soul into creating and shooting. Now you could scroll up and down or simply click onto the photo and then just browse around and this look absolutely gorgeous on the iPad Air 5 that I have over here. Even better with the M2 iPad Pro 12 inches which I don't have. 
Now, I'm a paid subscriber to Pixie Set and I've paid to use their service in full. In fact, I just renewed their services for another year. However, these features that I've just showcased to you, they are available on their free tier with some exception of not having you to be able to brand, put your branding and also your colors. And it only limits you up to three mobile apps. So go crazy. As to Pixie Set, they're not a sponsor to this video and they don't even know I even exist. But when I subscribe to them, they do have an affiliated link for me to share with, with anyone that's interested in signing up. So if you do sign up, I do get 250 megabyte extra for me and also you will get 250 megabyte as well. So I guess that's a win-win deal, right? Here's another way to use PixieSat in a mobile app environment where I can put in photographs of my wedding albums and I can show this to my client when I meet up with them. I can show them what's the difference between the classic album and then the contemporary album all in the same interface of all these beautiful grids um, of presentation of how the wedding album could look like. Now the wallpaper changes on the iPad whenever I go into its certain mode like wedding focus, it changed into a wedding portfolio piece. And Chris of Daily Tech, in his video, he detailed how to do that. And because we are photographers, I've tweaked that step so that it select a random wallpaper instead of just one. So this is how I do it. Now in shortcut, under automation, which is the personal automation, we have a couple of uh, rules in the automation already built up because I've got this all functioning, but I'm going to make a sample for you. So I'm going to create a personal automation over here. I'm going to go to focus straight away, select wedding because that's the focus that I want to change. When turning on, I want to find a photo in my photo app. So I'm just going to go to photo app find photo and i'm going to add the filter because in my photo app i've got an album called focus wedding where inside this particular folder it has a couple of pieces of photos which is wallpaper ready and i'm going to sort by random because say i've got like 10 photos inside i want it to sort a random one and i'm just going to limit to one because i want it to return only one photo so on the random it select one photo in focus wedding album and then after that i will change the wallpaper set the wallpaper i don't want it to change the lock screen just the home screen will do and then done all right and i'm gonna just go next and then the here over here ask before running i'm just gonna disable it and don't ask and we're done i'm just gonna do a test on this automation done so you can see this is the the photo of the wallpaper and that's the photo of the wallpaper so do you think this is the better way to utilize the ipad to showcase all our photography work let me know in the comment below now there are some other tips that i would want to share with you guys when it comes to the ipad um, part two will discuss about shortcuts and workflow for wedding photography and all so if you are doing this for a living you'll be highly interested i think but thank you for watching i hope this has inspired you to use the ipad to present your portfolio better remember a well-crafted portfolio can make all the difference in landing your next big gig so why not give it a try well that's the end of this video please remember to like and possibly subscribe if you want to know and whenever i post a video online I'll see you guys on the next one.